Hello everybody, what an amazing round of 16 match we have for you now. It is Andy Davo with his incredible orcs versus Rick Reckless with his kind of crap, but not that bad humans. In the booth with me is Fymir. Hello. Hello there, and yes, we have here an instant classic here, uh, Rick Reckless with his humans and Andy Davo with his absolutely monstrous orc. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the, the humans aren't that bad actually, although they've, they've got a guard, a guard catcher, a guard lineman with plus armor, um, three guard blitzers, mighty botacular, Rick induced a wizard, an apple, and, and a an guard ogre. ogre, which I personally hated. I would have absolutely induced Riff. Um, because I feel like he has basically no chance. Okay, Cruiser. Yeah, I thought uh, probably a lot of people watched this live. It was a massive match, wasn't it? Um, and yeah. Yeah, I mean, that ogre is like, I don't know. What adds to the team? Just a body to get hit all the time. Yeah, yeah, I like it. I know that Rick liked it, but because it, it is actually a way to get a two dice split sometimes. Like, it's going to be hard to even two dice people on this team a lot of the time. It's it's a completely disgusting team, isn't it? All of this two two jump up pommers, one with tackle, one with jugs. Uh, strength up there, strength up there. Guard frenzy. It's just horrific. It's absolutely I mean, horrific. I, I missed the throw without the skill, so he's the perfect uh, ball reach. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, oh, he's running around for the foul there. Eh? Rick needs to get very, very lucky with the removal here if he's coming. Yeah, I didn't understand that blitz at all, but now, yeah, it makes sense. It's the, a huge foul. GFI, though. That's the extra, the extra energy to get the, you know, the, the impact. Well, he's killed oh, him. Well, there you go. There you go, you know. Uh, Apple works. <laughs> well, yeah, that was massive removal there. <laughs> I like this, the, the loner. The loner being the prime blitz target. But Devo going back to uh, beat up the real team. This I mean, is this is a bit of Devo's weakness in Chalice, I think. That he just tries to be an absolute banger, doesn't he? I think a lot of people, like, you know, I think it, a lot of good players would have just, you know, taken this defenseless guy and actually moved the ball up and, and everything, but he just loves banging people. He really does. He seems to do it every Chalice, just tries to just max hits. That he said uh, the chain there and all that, it's too tempting, it's too tempting. <laughs> But yeah, I'll go for the learner there because easy is to take him out, low risk. But now you know, like, oh wow, we're catching his standing film. Oh god, he's gone for the early bolt. Look, imagine if he had Griffo bolt here. I hate this wizard, by the way. What the hell is this? I, I don't know what is uh, Rick planning here with that ball, but... No, it's... Really, like, and all of his stuff is in front, like... That's just terrible. I'm sorry, Rick. <laughs> sorry, Rick fans. <laughs> I do not like that. Do I not like that? Free roll gone. Here's the ball. The pass. Yes, but even if, you know, even if you make the pass, I did, I did the old school have freed players to get him and. Yeah. I mean, it was an instant. To that is a block with a piece. Yeah. Even if he gets the ball, because. Yeah. And he's got a wrestle, and with some work, he could have freed a tackle. 
Yeah, I, I did not like that from Rick. It wasn't hard to free this tackle. And yeah, either way, like he had Juggernaut against Wrestle, so yeah. He didn't even need the tackle to do. No, I guess Wrestle or... I don't know, either way. I mean, yeah, that was, Didn't like it. Like, I did think Rick was in a desperation state. Like... Like, look at the teams. <laughs> Do you know no, what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. he's already lost three players. Um, yes. Rick was in a very complicated situation, but... Yeah, I feel... Maybe could have waited another turn. Maybe try to plan the lining ball. Maybe go for a lucky... Yeah. And, and this is level why... Fireball. <laughs> this is why I was all aboard the Griff train, you know? Because Griff... Griff, you know, gets that and he's strength only GFIs away or whatever, or or like something like that, you know, like you you know you're on a clock, but somehow Andy's left a one day on the ball here, which is basically unforgivable. <laughs> Especially with his team. Yeah. Unreal. Um But yeah, like you know you're on a clock, like this was why I I hated the ogre and I loved Griff. Like I still think Griff is not giving you a lot of chances. But I felt like it was always going to be desperate and, you know, you're going to need something like that kind of wizard player that he went for. Even though I didn't really like going for it in that way on that turn. But, like, a player like that is what's needed to win against this team, isn't Griff it? Griff is too good. I thought it was mandatory for humans, you know, to get him, you know, the first star they, they should get if they have the money because he's too good. He has, you know, learner is irrelevant because he has his own uh, rules. Believe. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, he's got dodge for the dodges and sure feet for the for the GFI. So, yeah, he's totally sorted. Ig four, strength four. Yeah. It's just very hard, isn't it? This is the thing. You're all, he's just always going to be on the back foot and kind of desperate. I oh, did he run out of time there? Because this guy hadn't activated. He could have gone and gone up here. Maybe he just didn't want to. But I would have wanted him in there. And that's why. <laughs> Rick straight in for the easy dodge. I mean, not easy, but, you know, a bit easier than if, if he'd have another player in there. Everyone's banged down now. <laughs> versus this, yes. This uh, orc team is like... I don't know which teams are left on the challenge that are going to be able, you know, to take on uh, these orcs face to face. No, exactly. Like, it's brutal, isn't it? It's, a, it's an absolutely monster team. I mean, uh, strength 5 uh, Black Orc, strength 4 uh, Blitzer, and he's missing the IG4 Blitzer. <laughs> you know, the kind of thing I was here. Absolutely perfect killer there with all the nice skills to have. You are now jump up, pile on, happy days. Yep. Yeah, not only is he reach round two, KMD, he's probably going to win, I imagine. <laughs> I imagine he's going to win. I mean, I've thought he was going to win multiple times, and he, he found a way to lose in round one. <laughs> but this, surely, this is too good, this Orc team now. And he's, he's, got, he's got past the hurdle of round one with a really good team so surely like this it's... is the challenge is the challenge of the end times the <laughs> store wins andy wins Dimi wins thomas t has a full team all the prophecies are coming to pass this is it <laughs> next day after the final the servers close and the uh, blow blue ball three gets released <laughs> <laughs> oh man it will really be the end times if Blood Bowl 3 isn't an absolute agony to play on your eyes. <laughs> if they manage to make a game that isn't physically painful, then you know. I I mean, I'm I'm sure that got sorted, but uh, the thing I'm uh, thinking, you know, is that I'm going to be okay, early access and all that. The league systems or whatever systems, chances are not going to be there. 
how many teams are you gonna be able to play? Because we have only seen three teams, yeah. and since then nothing. Yeah. Yeah. And like, wh what is the hype building? You know, showing things. Yeah, this Same thing, uh, players, you know, showing teams, showing star players, like, no, that is like, it's not good looking good. It's really not looking good, no. After the most horrific beta test that anyone's ever seen. <laughs> but, yes, I have to admit that, uh, yes, I've seen many things in all my years in the video games industry and as a player, and that was like a whole new thing. <laughs> It really was something, wasn't it? That like that is, and I know they were like pressured into it by Games Workshop and stuff for the Skulls event, almost certainly, right? And like the things in the uh, the things in the box set and stuff. So they were they were pressured into releasing that one, maybe they didn't want it. But like, come on, man, they should have had something, shouldn't they? It should have been better than what it was. Terrible. And there you go, Andy scores, and I think Rick. His best chance is to just to kill some orcs to make the next one <laughs> easier well, to try to beat Andy. I've, I've heard that Andy Devo has virgin internet, so that is giving Rick a good out in this match. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, it's a classic disconnection. Uh... <laughs> Take your maximum four minutes a turn. <laughs> Hope that virgin internet yes. goes down. Well, put the baby on the screen, you know, put the baby on the screen just to, you know, melt the heart of the viewers and all that. <laughs> <laughs> it's looking rough. But to be fair, only KOs, so like as as rough as that half was, um there wasn't like that much match equity in it for Andy here. Yeah, no no, it's uh, one of these classic uh, halves, you know, when uh, one team disappears but it's like it wasn't that bad. It's just KOs, you have reserves. Yeah. So that's alright. Really the worst thing was him like basically pissing the wizard away. Um, <laughs> no offense. <laughs> but like it was it was it was low odds and like it was a desperate move and I didn't like it but I, I can't really say I hated it just because the fact that you would always feel like you're gonna be a bit desperate in this match, isn't it? So Okay now Rick is gonna try for the one turn. Yeah. Probably best not to try for the one turn and just try to punch people. <laughs> well, you have to lose. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you know, like, especially now. I mean, it's, just, it's so unlikely to score that you're probably better off just getting a big power. Didn't he follow? Okay, that's one push. Yes, he's filled that slot in with the thrower. And he fails. He had a good chance there. He I still has a, a few blocks uh, to do so. I wouldn't say good, he's humans, like, even if he makes all of the pushes, like, the dodges are still difficult, like, it's so, it, that one turn was so low well, odds. I yes, I mean, good, given the circumstance. Yeah, I think just trying to get a massive damn foul was probably the best play there. If he had Griff Oberwald and had an Edge 4 player to do it with, then... <laughs> with with sprint, sure feet, with sure feet and a sprint, yes, to be absolutely <laughs> overpowered. Yeah, not 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 to keep hammering the uh, not to keep flogging the dead horse here, but you know <laughs> that was that was one of the one of the uh, upsides to Griff as well was the one turn. Also, if uh, the problem with the ogre is you activate it and you fail to activate it, it's like instant ogre death or half your team <laughs> die. Yeah. Because there's going to be like seven orcs with frenzy waiting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, Rick has got a decent amount of mighty blow here, hasn't he? So he can make some hits and roll Rick dice. There is certainly some high roll potential. There's only 11 orcs on the, t on the pitch and the apple is gone. So 
que hayas activado el Rick Mode. <risa> There you go, just activate. There you go, there you go, that's easy, easy peasy. <laughs> just activate rig mode. Activate rig mode, that's uh, probably at least uh, one guard less. <laughs> Armor 9, doing the Lord's job, AG2, probably the biggest blow I've seen in a human team in a long time. <laughs> yeah, that's but uh, Rick loves to do the joke, and he, I have to give to him, he went with the joke until the end. Yeah. Mighty Blow Blitz from the Ogre. Easy 2D, unsupported 2D. So, like, you know, Ogre doing something there. Certainly getting some value from that. Is he going for the foul? Of course he is. Silly question. He has to. I mean, the, the, you need to high roll like a I mean, I'm, I'm like not a sure lady. he has to in terms of this is a skillless lineman. <laughs> and you're exposing, okay. you're exposing the dirty player to get taken out. Uh, yeah, that dirty player is dead. Yeah, that's, that's the problem. I think I might have not fouled this turn and then... But the problem is like knocking down a good player, isn't it? That's not easy. Um... All of them are stress, uh, at least strength four. It's like mental. Yeah, it's it's even hard to know. So I can see why he went. But yeah, there you go. Okay, he's on his stun. Like it, the ogre blitzing is the main way he can knock players down. So I certainly understand why he went for the ogre. But um, I would have certainly lent into the agility side of humans more and gone with Griff. Also, the problem with that is that he gave you know, a chain play to get an extra hit. Yeah. Yep. Now oh, he's running around for the extra hit himself. Also because he's the only target he can hit, more or less. Yep. I'm gonna out bang orcs as humans. I mean, this is Rick we're talking about. So, <laughs> you know. <laughs> Playing as, as was the way to go, yes, if he has grief, but with an uh, average team, you know, having a G3 versus a team that also has a lot of plays with a G3, it's like, <laughs> tall order. Yep. Well, at least now this, given the circumstances, more is, uh, is good. There are a lot of uh, orcs out of position. Yeah. But the problem is, the ones that are in position are absolutely monsters. <laughs> yep. This has got a fend for the frenzy, that's that's quite fun. <laughs> fend on a human blitzer, I mean, best, best, best. <laughs> <laughs> and he's, he's eating the pom blitz as well. <laughs> oh, he's got Juggernaut anyway, oh, oh well, never mind. An AV up line, oh, it's Rick in it. <laughs> <laughs> That's all you have to know for <laughs> for any odd ch skill choices. It's Rick. Never well, been a slave to with the meta, a, has he? With the the roller and give the roller in the first double dodge. Yeah. Well, like, and he tried to justify it. And oh no, it's like, oh, it's like oh, an ad oh. jump. He's given ad jump to a fucking roller. Like, <laughs> of all the things, I think ad jump roller is. Oh, yeah, good. Rick knows he does it for the for fun. He has to add uh, yeah. some uh, fun factor to the streams. Yeah, well, you say that. You say that. But some of the things he thinks are good. <laughs> and he really, he really, well, he says he thinks they're good. So well, I'm he gave sure. big skull to a human or a catcher a player or something. I don't know, Rick thinks. He won, he won the, the challenge, you know, with an absolutely rig rolling <laughs> with the chores, destroying, uh, destroying every single thing. Yeah. 
like some things he says, he says everything he does. He, he like you know he's super competitive and he's trying to win and he does it because he thinks it's the best thing. That's what he says. But then he has taken agility on a on a roll, and now that has to be just an, a, a like a crazy meme thing. That can't he can't have thought I jump on a roll was the best. Um, and like he can't have thought augers were the best thing for BBSL, but he probably thought they were. You know they were as good as they were going to be and it was fun so like i think there's definitely an element of he does things for fun but i still think he fundamentally thinks it's not terrible even if it's not it's not the worst optimal. it's not the worst yeah, yeah like it's fun but it still has value yeah yeah exactly yeah he's not just doing things to be an absolute meme lord <laughs> And now, you know, the situation is not as bad. That ball is far from a lot of the orcs. Yeah, I thought it was a, a kind of a lazy or, or bad turn from Andy last turn. Like, he just opened up the red carpet to let him through. I, I, I don't know. I feel like you shouldn't do that with this team. I feel like you should just crush people and beat them 2 0 in normal time. Or 2 1. I, I feel like he should have played a harder defense. But maybe he's been put off by the apple being gone and he just wants to, like, go for a safer overtime win, if you like. But. It's not that safe. Yeah. If you lose the toss in overtime, it's not safe at all, is it? So, I think he probably should have played harder defense this half. This is some three pluses, and they're fast, aren't they? Like humans are fast, and just letting them roll dice to like stall and run away is it's a bit too risky. As you say, four players are like over here now, being stupid. Was really, you know, bleaching the the ogre such a mandatory thing to do right now? No, I don't think so. No, I think I... going for a three dice on the, the catcher and getting very close to the ball was uh, better. Yeah, but again, I, I think I think he's just thinking he's going to win anyway. He wants to make it as safe for his team as possible, you know. So so taking out the the ogre there means that he's not too being somebody with mighty blow instantly, you know? And I think he's definitely trying to like kind of maximize chalice equity at this point. Kind of feeling that the match is already won. Which is understandable given this orc team. I would think that every match was already won with this orc team. <laughs> Apart from elves with a wizard. Um, even chaos are gonna just struggle, aren't they? Unless they unless they hire all you. Um, chaos are uh, if chaos wants to play against this team. They're gonna need to be very lucky on the blitzes they do on the sides. Yeah, because there's so much guard and so much strength. Yeah, yeah. Even like their natural credit of the chaos, the high TV chaos team has to uh, has to kind of high roll, which is pretty crazy. Oof, that was a horrible, horrible push. Well, I guess he's got the uh, catch up to do that anyway. Like, if he'd got the power there, he could have got this guy out as well, couldn't he? Which is what he, yep. want he wanted to get them both out, obviously. Kyo. Ooh, power apple. Like it, I like it a lot. It's a very good piece, mighty blow guard. You need that kind of things, especially when the Overtime is coming. Wow. And he's got two, hasn't he? So I think that's probably what he was thinking. And also, this is his final, isn't it? Like, this match is hard. It's it's really hard. I think he shouldn't look past this match. Yes. Um, uh, Andy can uh, afford to think about the future, but here for Rick, there is no future. It's all or nothing. Yeah. And he's been very, very lucky with the cas. He really has been, yeah, yeah. To have, he's taken no cas, and Andy's taken one, like two actually. Andy's taken two, hasn't he? Andy's taken yes. two cas. Yeah, Andy yes. And Rick's he taken already none. used the apple. Yeah, which is just crazy, really. So there crazy you go. Rick, so. Got like uh, red <laughs> dice. Yeah. But don't, don't this fail? Doesn't matter. 
But I, I do think that Andy's been too passive on defense. But then, again, maybe he thinks he's already won. Which? I think uh, I think uh, Rick was able to surprise him. That there's a few plays and uh, that he Andy didn't so. I was too overconfident just with the weight of the skills of his team. I mean, he, he opened the red carpet though, didn't he? Like he just didn't put anybody in the wide zone. Like he just let him down the side and then didn't try and put any pressure on at all. Like he's blitzing the ogre instead of coming back. Yeah, yeah blitzing the ogre. Like you know, the ball is in the ex exactly. <laughs> Opposite direction, and that ogre is not a big danger. Yeah, he hasn't really tr even tried to stop the score of a stall in any way whatsoever, coaching wise. So, the only real explanation for that is he's thinking of Chalice Equity. Like that, that blitz on the ogre the only, only made sense in terms of I'm going to win overtime. Let's just punch things and, you know, not get hurt. Beautiful Black Orc Pylon. Yep, rarely seen animation. And it's absolutely majestic. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, now Andy's in the situation where we are gonna reach overtime and... Hate that. Hate that reroll. Why? Wow. Wow. Like, if you've played the rest of the half like this... You can't re-roll that. That's weird, isn't it? That re-roll was this. very strange. And now, you know, is uh, Rick with is gonna get nearly a full team for overtime. Yeah, maybe a whole team still, right? He's uh, he's got a reserve. He's got two yes, kills. yes, yes, the kills. Rick could still have eleven here. I don't know how many the orcs have, but they've got two out. <laughs> oh god, this is jump Getting up. This very is rowdy here. This is Getting so very rowdy. <laughs> this is super risky. That's a jump up player. Oh god, did Rick remember jump up? Oh no. Oh god, these both ults are jump up. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. Here. Fail, fail, uh, jump up. He had a was a... Yeah, but he could. He had the guard back there. He could have just put the guard in and then blocked, and then the other guy could have blitzed the ball. That was not what I would have done. Who can say if it's right or wrong? Now, right. at last, and an <laughs> Nick and the cows was definitely the right play there, wasn't it? Three D here. Rick still has an apple. And that's pretty nice, isn't it? Getting the strength 5 in the way there, but still just a 3 plus to score. Okay, that makes it a bit trickier. Yeah, Farina, I believe so. Well, what do you do here? Got a blitz there. Easy. Easy blitz free. I get Sakeo. Casual. It's a mighty blow hit. It's not unrealistic to do that, is it? Oh, and he's got the handoff. Do you know what? After making that handoff, I wouldn't have even hated making a 2D without block there. I know it sounds stupid, but again, you've got a high roll, haven't you, here as the humans? So. I wouldn't have even hated, you know, standing up the ogre and that guy in 2D and that black oak, because okay, it's low odds and using a reroll would suck, but you just need all the luck you can get, and I think that was a way to get lucky. It was maybe missed by Rick. Um, so it's three, uh, now six, time 16, ten. and uh, Andy needs to get some cases here in the OS. Yeah. So Andy still because has 11. And Rick is down at 10 at the moment, but he might get back up to 11. 
And it obviously might go down to less than 10. <laughs> so you got two poms, three poms. Yep. Everyone could get pommed on the LOS. Only one reroll though, so. P. Diddy. There you go. Well, it lasted 16 times. Mm -hmm. Exactly the amount of time you rent him for. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, push him, push him here so that if you push, you get to hit him with palm as well. Foul because you've only got eleven. Could have thought about fouling the ogre, I guess. But you can't foul a lineman, can you? <laughs> ah, lineman, yeah, like, and even fouling the ogre, the ogre has thick skull. You know, it's very mm. low odds to achieve anything. Yeah, no, I wouldn't. I wouldn't have fouled the ogre with with eleven, but like, it would have been a consideration that you would dismiss rather than not even think about, whereas the lineman you can't even consider it. Oh wow, Rick's got the ball. He's got a chance. He's got eleven players? No, still there you 10. go. No, I think he's still got ten. Ten. Four. Yeah, ten because ten. they all get out. Yeah, this guy didn't come back. So he's got ten men. Versus 11. He hasn't got much chance, has he? <laughs> but if he had Griff... <laughs> um. he, ha he has a movement 8 players, you know, and a thrower, so... Comes to desperation, and I think uh, this is desperation here. Yeah. Uh, still, humans are not that bad at scoring fast. I mean, it, it's really, really bad, but... Oh, yeah, he's, yeah, got, yeah. he's got a shot. He has much more than uh, he had at the beginning of the game. Way yeah. better. Yeah, for sure. This is about as good as you could. Like, imagine if he'd saved the wizard. This would have been ideal, wouldn't it, if he'd saved the wizard? Wow, uh, and he making this weak. I guess he's strength five, so it's not that weak. God, this is it's horrible, isn't it? I guess you just got to like wait a turn or two and hope. Hope Andy makes a mistake, which is unlikely, but what else can you do? <laughs> roll the dice in god mode, break. <laughs> Extra roll for Andy. Ooh, not even punished for that that horrible re-roll, in my opinion, earlier. <laughs> Where are you going, Kazakai? <laughs> That helps, doesn't it? Yeah, 10 versus 10. Yeah. Hand is stone. The problem is, is getting through the Black Orcs and everything, isn't it? Actually get forward. Do you even blitz that? Oh. Oh, yeah, you can't, blitz. you can't blitz. So, like, you can see why he took the ogre. Like, I'm, I'm not, not saying the ogre was terrible, but <laughs> oh, yeah, <laughs> here with the ogre, at least he have an option. But maybe you know, instead of going with the ogre, with mighty Zug or something. Yeah, Zug. He did consider Zug. He's going for the foul. I don't like that. I prefer keeping something out. Yeah. Now. This this cage can have so much pressure put on it now. Did make the removal, but this is really inviting the pressure in over here. And the other, your, your option to stop the pressure collapsing in is by feeding him a catcher, which you don't want to do. 
Not going for that. Interesting. I'm just trying to maximise hits. <laughs> I do think he maximises hits a little bit too much. This is it's too elaborate, I think. You know, you have that side of the cage so open, you can just flood it with orcs mm -hmm. while protecting the other side. But, to be fair, the extra hit got a removal, so... Wow, Apoing a... Apoing a lawn alignment. Clearly, Rick is thinking he needs every single bit. Don't hate it, because it's like, very desperate. Yep. Do you go over this side now? Maybe. I think maybe you try and go over that side. GFI, and then just get the ball there and screen it. Like, he's got to get in range pretty quickly. Oh my god, he made another remove. Well, this is incredible from Rick, isn't it? Three, yeah. four, five, six, seven, eight orcs left. Wow. Well, now it's not even looking bad, is it? <laughs> oh, he has uh, more than enough bodies to keep uh, the orcs away from the ball. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> and there are catchers there that move eight, and I think uh, at least one of them is in range. Yeah, they're both in range. Both catcher in range. Okay, he's dead. Oh, there you go. <laughs> there you go, Mr. Armor 9. <laughs> Rip armor nine, fella. Okay, finally, finally, this this orc team is doing what it probably could have been doing a bit earlier. <laughs> There's another one gone. All right, this is a uh, looking now. The equity moving, earthquake equity here. <laughs> Things looking really good now for uh, much better for Andy. Yeah. Right, let's pause it. Let's pause it. What's the play here? Dauntless block there for a push. Well, no, two plus, two plus dauntless block, but preferably a push. And then he dodges one dice, him for a push, and then you hand off, and then you've got a uh, a four plus three plus to score. It's raw, but it's all, it's all you can all you can try and get him somehow. Um, I guess dodge and two D him, but then it's a bad angle, isn't it? And yeah, that's what you've got to do. Dauntless him, and then hopefully push, and then he dodges 1Ds him, and hopefully pushes. So, like, two 3-pluses, and then a 3-plus with catch, and then 4-3, both with dodge. 2G, I don't think there's no other play, because he's not going to score. If he had the wizard, then uh, it would be sick, wouldn't it? Because you could, you could uh, bolt, bolt the strength 4, and then dodge blitz him, and then just hand off, and then score without dodges. But... He's got to make this play, I think. He fails the dodge, gets the pows anyway! Amazing. Rick dies, Rick dies! Amazing. Oh, he's just blitzing with the thrower. Oh, I didn't like that. Oh, no, no, that wasn't the... Oof. No, it's too hard to protect. No, I didn't... I didn't. I mean, he failed the one in nine anyway, so he wouldn't—he wouldn't have scored my way. But I just feel like this was just too hard to protect. Like he had to make this, and then like what double GFI around, and then get the the dodge off as well. Oh, wait a second! Well, he didn't get knocked over. He's got a chance. You telling me? I remember the, the the orcs also need to score. 
Yeah, that's true. Yeah, they've um, one reroll versus two, so that's a consideration as well as the humans, isn't it? So may maybe there was merit to that, like getting uh, you know, yeah, getting the ball as far as possible. Yeah. And okay, it is hard to protect, but at least if you get the ball down there with even not enough protection, then at least you're distracting him and taking turns up. Yeah, yeah, okay. I don't, I don't hate it as much now as I did a few seconds ago. Uh, do you just uphill blitz? Yeah, you uphill blitz for the touchdown here, don't you? There's no other play. Yeah. Oh. Four, four, three. Oh. oh, that was that was there, eh? So close, just a little more luck. Yep. Yep, that was a chance. It is mental how close I've been Rick to actually win the game in these uh, last few times, you know, considering yeah. how it started. Yeah, but that's the thing though, the first half there wasn't there wasn't permanent rules, were there? I've, I've had many games like that where like you know, you do get lucky and you shouldn't be complaining about how lucky you've got, realistically, but that luck that you've got is not translating to winning the game, it's only translated to winning the half. So like obviously Andy's luck in the first half was great for winning the half. But it really wasn't for winning the game, was it? They were only KOs. Um, yes. And there are not that many orcs left in the pitch anyway. There isn't, no. Right, there's not many humans left either. At this stage, is there? Six humans. And seven orcs. <laughs> On the V8. Eight orcs. And seven humans. Oh, this is a bit bad putting all your players on a few players. I like the following, just running back there, to be honest. Yes, I, yes, I think you need a player in the back, yes. Work some magic. And I also like to tag in the ball there, so at least you're, you're eating the blitz. Like, I know normally I mock facing the ball, but I feel like... Having to, having to blitz, at least he's not blitzing somewhere else to get forward as much. Come, throw, majestic speed. <laughs> Mr. Throw movement. Five. He's gonna have troubles to score if he just keeps going. Movement five, yeah. and there is three turns left. The dawn. This has been great, hasn't it? Actually, I don't know when he picked that up, but it was a, it was a, certainly a great pickup for this match. I think Rick should not be trying to bang down the strength five fellas. Yeah, this is tricky, isn't it? Yes. This could go to kicks. Wait, what, what was that thrower doing there? I think he's trying to get in the way and like make it a bit tricky, but... I think he probably sh should have gone there. <laughs> but, he's done a job. Alright, okay. I guess he's gonna pass it, no he's not. I thought he was gonna pass it the strength four. This is yeah, this is getting very tricky now. <laughs> Don't outrun your cage up Mr. Throw. Two so times less for Rick uh, for Andy after this to move 13, 14 squares. Yeah, that's why I don't like just putting in all these guys to just punch somebody, you know, like if you just, if you'd screened off in front. Oh wow, just double, just uphill double pan. 
Easy peasy. Putting more bodies in the way. Mm -hmm. Pretty good. Pretty good if you just. Oh, get I like that. I like that fan player there. Yep, that's pretty good, isn't it? Especially with the. Oh yes. Yep, that is a nice, nice position for sure. Especially when counting that you only have three players active, though. <laughs> but yeah, he's got the guards. He's, he's got too many players. He can just pound, pound through this way. And I guess we can see a pass from Mr. Throwaway. Well, now he must, because it's way too many GFIs, if not. <laughs> and there you go, there's the first one, second one. Yeah. I think he needs to GFI more. Yeah. <laughs> We're coming to that, you know, turn, tw turn 24 to GFI. Will we see a surf first? <laughs> no. And that we absolutely man. <laughs> and he does it in the last possible turn. So yeah, there is one in the books. In my book, you know, uh, Rick is the moral uh, winner here because he managed to give, make things incredibly difficult for Andy. Yeah, I just, I just feel like maybe, you know, Turn 22 or something, if he just hadn't tried to hit, but instead, you know, try to dodge off or something. Just try to screen, like, because the screen was just too easy to break by having to have them to hit. Like, it was hard. It was hard. I'm not I'm not really criticising Rick there, by the way. It was it was an amazing, amazing effort, wasn't it? Amazing effort. Yes, amazing effort. Uh, some moments of luck, but in general, very good skill there and uh, good performance. And Andy, the only mistake, I think, he, he got relaxed in the second half. You know, during a few turns, thinking, okay, this is done, this is sorted, and suddenly, boom. Yeah, I think I think he was definitely too passive in the second half when it came to just winning the game. Um, maybe it was the right play, chalice equity-wise, but I think match equity-wise, he should have definitely played a harder defense in the second half, or like any defense in the second half. <laughs> yeah, I agree. I agree. Well, now, sorted. Congratulations to Andy. That is trailing through the ranks of the CCL, at last getting yep. his revenge on the CCL. <laughs> <Cup. Yeah. laughs> yep, absolutely. Congrats to Andy. Commiserations to Rick. Uh, thank you very much, Faimir, for the core commentary. Absolutely glorious. Thanks for having me here. And uh, thanks everyone for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.